differentiating two times we will get ds by dx is equal to 40 x minus 30 if all the sides are equal means then it is a square so the rectangle is a square if the rectangle is a square y square is equal to a square minus x square or y is equal to root of a square minus x square now for the function to be maxima or minima da by dx is equal to zero what is da by dx Hello dear students, welcome to this session of mathematics class. I am Mr. Niranjan, faculty of mathematics with Ashram PU College, the temple of excellence. In the previous class, we have discussed regarding the problems based on maxima and minima. Now in this session also, I am going to discuss a very, very important problems in maxima and minima. Now let me start with the first problem. Now, what is the first problem? Find two positive numbers whose sum is 16 and sum of whose cubes is minimum. See here. What is our condition given? So, we should have to find two positive numbers whose sum is 16. Suppose you have to find two numbers such a way that if a sum, the sum of those two numbers is 16 and sum of whose cube, if you cube those two numbers and cube, then it is minimum. Now listen to me. Now let us consider, suppose let us consider let x be one number. Let us consider x as one number. Let x be one number, then the other number will be the other number will be what is given? Sum of two positive number is x. If one number is 6 means definitely other number will be 16 minus x. So one number is x and other number will be 16 minus x. Now the condition sum of whose cubes let s, s represents, s is the sum of the cubes of these two numbers that is x cube plus 16 minus x cube. This is given condition. That's it. Now differentiate use a first derivative, second derivative test to find the maxima and the minimum value. That's it. Very simple. Now, the formation of the problem is very important. Let x be the one number, then the other number will be 16 minus x. Let s is the given condition. What is the given condition? Sum of whose cubes is minimum. Sum of the cubes. Sum of the cubes is nothing but s is equal to x cube plus 16 minus x whole cube. Now, differentiate this. Now differentiating with respect to x, differentiate with respect to x. Now let us call it as equation number 1, differentiating with respect to x, dx, ds by dx is equal to derivative of x cube is 3x square. Again this is f of x to the power of n, n is 3 into 16 minus x whole to the power of 3 minus 1 is 2 into d by dx of inside function 16 constant 0 x is 1 along with negative sign. Now, I can remove 3 common factor here or I multiply it. This is 3x square plus into minus minus 3 times 16 minus x square. Now, find out the second derivative also. Differentiate again. Differentiating with respect to x again. What you will get? d square s yes, divided by dx square is equal to derivative of x square is 2x, 2 into 3 is 6x, this is 6x minus 3 constant, again function of a function, f of x to the power of n, n is equal to 2, this is 2 times 16 minus x whole to the power of 1 into derivative of x is 1 along with negative sign. This can be written as 6x minus, multiply this, 3 into 2 is 6 into minus into minus plus 16 minus x. Now, therefore, this d square s by dx square can be written as multiplied 6x plus 16 into 6 is 96 minus 6 into x is 6x minus and plus gets cancelled plus 96. It is positive greater than 0. You can say from here itself that the function is minimum at the given value. Now, let x be the one number. Let the one number be x, then the other number will be 16 minus x. Given that, 
let us consider s as the sum of whose cubes s is equal to x cube plus 16 minus x cube. Now differentiating with respect to x, ds by dx is equal to 3x square plus 3 into differentiation of this is f of x to the power of n is n into f of x to the power of n minus 1 into d by dx of 16x minus x. 16 0 minus x is 1 multiply minus into plus it is minus 3x square minus 3 times 16 minus x square. Differentiate this again. So, d square s by dx square is equal to derivative of x square is 2x, 2 into 3 is 6x, 3 constant again f of x to the power of n, 2 into 16 minus x into d by dx of inside function x is minus 1. This minus and minus becomes plus 6x plus 6 into 16 minus x, multiply it 6x, 6 into 16 is 96 minus into plus it is minus 6x plus 6x and minus 6x gets cancelled this is equal to 96. d square x by dx square is equal to positive means the function is minimum. I will go to the next page. For the function, for the function yes to be maximum or minimum, what is the condition ds by dx is equal to 0. That is ds divided by dx is equal to 0. ds by dx, what is ds by dx? That is nothing but 3x square minus 3 into that is 3x square minus 3 into 16 minus x whole square is equal to 0. See here 3x square minus 3 into 16 minus x whole square is equal to 0. Now you can divide by 3 what I will get x square minus just apply a minus b whole square formula for this a square plus b square minus 2ab 2 into 16 into x is equal to 0. Now multiply this x square minus 16 square 16 into 16 is 256 plus x square minus 16 into 2 is 32 x is equal to 0. Multiply by negative sign minus 256 minus x square minus into minus plus 32 x is equal to 0. So what is this equal to minus x square plus x square gets cancelled. What is left over is minus 256 plus 32x is equal to 0. Now transfer this 32x is equal to minus 256 becomes plus 256. Therefore, x is equal to 256 divided by 32 that is nothing but 8 times x is equal to 8. This is the value x is equal to 8. Now verify when x is equal to 8 when x is equal to 8 ds by dx is equal to 0 whereas d square s by dx square is equal to d square s by dx square this is 96 96 it is positive greater than 0 therefore the function is minimum therefore the function is minimum at x is equal to 8. So the minimum value is got by putting x is equal to 8 in the required equation. Now therefore x is equal to 8 therefore if x is equal to 8 if one number is 8, the other number will be 16 minus x that is nothing but 16 minus 8 that is also equal to 8. So therefore the two numbers are 8 and 18. The sum is 8 plus 8 is 16 and the sum of the cubes is minimum you are going to get. This is how we are going to solve this problem. See here. What is the problem given? Just I will explain. x cube plus 16 minus x cube is equal to x differentiate this. So, for the function to be maximum or minimum ds by dx is equal to 0, 3x square minus 3 into 16 minus x whole square is equal to 0 divide by 3. Uh, just use a minus b whole square. Simplify you are going to get the value of x. x is equal to 8. So, at x is equal to 8 ds by dx is equal to 0 and the second derivative d square s by dx square is equal to positive. Therefore, the function is minimum at x is equal to 8. So, when at x is equal to 8, at x is equal to 8, ds by dx is 0 and d square s by dx square is uh, positive. Therefore, the function is minimum at x is equal to 8 and uh, these are the minimum values. So, x is equal to 8 is one value, then the other value will be 16 minus x gives 16 minus 8 is again 8. So, therefore, the required numbers are 8 and 8. 8 and 8 are the two required numbers. Let us come to the next type problem. Same same type problem find two positive numbers whose sum is 15 
and the sum of whose squares is minimum here. In the previous problem, the sum of the cubes are minimum. Here, the sum of the square means s is equal to x square plus another term square. That's it. Now, let us consider, suppose let x be the one number, let x be one number, then the other number, the then the other number will be, other number will be, what is that? 15 minus x, right? Suppose if one number is x, other number will be 15 minus x. Now, what is the given? Let s is equal to, s is equal to sum of whose square, sum of whose squares means s is equal to x square plus 15 minus x all the square. That's it. Okay. Now, differentiate it and get it. This is same as that of the previous problem. In the previous problem, it is cube. Now, it is square. So, let x be the one number, then the other number will be 16, 15 minus x. Then given s is equal to sum of whose squares is minimum. Therefore, s is equal to x square plus 15 minus x square. Now, simplify this. s is equal to apply a plus b of square, a square, 15 square plus b square minus 2ab, 2 into 15 into x. This is s is equal to x square plus 15 square, 225 plus x square minus 15 into 2 is 30x. This can be written as s is equal to x square plus x square is 2x square minus 30x plus 225. Let us represent this as equation number 1. Now differentiate this. Differentiating with respect to x, then what you will get ds by dx is equal to differentiation of 2x square is 4x minus 30 into differentiation of x is 1. Differentiate again. Differentiating again with respect to x, with respect to x, what we will get d square s by dx square is equal to 4 into 1 is 4. This is positive. Positive greater than 0 means the function is minimum. That's it. Okay. Now to get the minimum value, equate ds by dx is equal to 0, you will get the answer. That's it. Now listen to me here once again. Let x be the one number, then the other number will be 15 minus x given the sum of whose squares are minimum. Therefore, s is equal to x square plus 15 minus x square. Simplify this a square plus b square minus 2ab, that is 2x square minus 30x plus 225. Differentiating two times, we will get ds by dx is equal to 40x minus 30. Again, if you differentiate, you will get uh, d square s by dx square is equal to plus 4. Now, for the function to, I will go to the next page. Now, for the function to be maxima or minima, for the function, yes, to be maxima or minima or minima, ds by dx is equal to 0. That is, what is ds by dx? This value, 4x minus 30. 4x minus 30 is equal to 0. 4x is equal to 30. x is equal to 30 divided by 4. This is nothing but 15 by 2. So, x is equal to 15 by 2. Now, at x is equal to 15 by 2, ds by dx is equal to 0. What about d square s by dx square? d square x by dx square already it is plus 4 greater than 0. Therefore, the function is minimum, minimum at x is equal to 15 by 2. So, therefore, one value of x is 15 by 2. Therefore, one value of x is 15 by 2. Then the other value, the other value is 15 minus x is 15 minus 15 by 2. Take LCM. 2 is LCM, 30 minus 15, again this is also equal to 15 by 2. So, therefore, the two numbers, two numbers, therefore, the two numbers are 15 by 2 comma 15 by 2. These are the two numbers. So, if you add this, the sum of these two numbers, 15, 15 by 2 plus 15 by 2, 7.5 plus 7.5 is nothing but the given answer. The sum is 15, 15 by 2 plus 15 by 2 is equal to same, you will get 15 as the answer. So, therefore, the two numbers are 
15 by 2 and 15 by 2 are the two required numbers. Followed. These two problems are very, very important for the point of examination. Now, let us come to the next problem. A square piece, a square piece of tin, a square piece of tin, 18 centimeter is to be made into a box without top. A box, a square piece of tin is to be formed a square without top by cutting off square from each corner, cutting off square from each corner and folding up flaps of the box. What should be the side of the square to be cut so that the volume of the box is maximum possible. Now, suppose if you remove x from each side, see here, a square, let us write a square, this is a square. A square of each side 18 centimeters. This is a square of each side 18 centimeters. Let us consider a square of each side 18 centimeters is to be made into a box without top by cutting off the square from each corner. Let the side of the square to be cut off by x. Let the side each side of the square to be cut by x. This much we are going to cut. This is x, this is x, this is x and this is x. Now then what is this side is equal to, what is this distance? This is 18 minus, we are removing x from here, again x from here, this is equal to 18 minus 2x. Then this is equal to 18 minus 2x. Now let 18 minus 2x be the length and breadth of the square. If 18 minus 2x is the length and breadth of the square. So, then the volume is given by volume V is equal to x into 18 minus 2x into 18 minus 2x. Let the side to be cut off from the square is x. Therefore, then the length and breadth of the square is 18 minus 2x. Therefore, the volume is equal to x into 18 minus 2x into 18 minus 2x. Therefore, V is equal to x into 18 minus 2x whole square. Now let us simplify this first, x into, simplify this, a square plus b square minus 2ab, 2 into 18 into 2x. Simplify this, v is equal to x into, 18 into 18 is 324 plus 4x square, 18, 2 into 18, 2 into 2 is 4, 18 into 4, 18 into 4 is equal to 72x. Now, let us multiply with x. v is equal to 4x into x square is 4x cube. Put it in order. 4x cube minus 72x square plus 324x. This is equation number 1. So, let us find out the equation like this. Okay. Now, differentiate with respect to x. You will get the answer. That's it. I will go to the next page. Differentiating with respect to x. dv by dx is equal to, what is that? 4 into differentiation of x cube is 3x square, 4 into 3x square minus 72 into derivative of x square is 2x plus 324 into derivative of x is 1. So, this is equal to dv by dx is equal to 4 3s are 12 x square minus 72 into 2 is 144x plus 324. Differentiate again, differentiate again with respect to x. Then what we will get? d square v by dx square is equal to 24x minus 144. Now, d square v by dx square is equal to 24x minus 144. Now, for the function to be maxima or minima, for v to be maxima or minima, dv by dx is equal to 0. That is 2lx square, this one, 2lx square minus 144x plus 324 is equal to 0. Now, divide by 12 and simplify this quadratic equation, you will get the answer. Now, divide by 12. What you will get? x square minus 144 by 12 is equal to 12x plus 324 divided by 12 is equal to 27 is equal to 0. 
Now factorize this. This can be written as x into x. 9 3s are 27 minus and minus. So x minus 3 into x minus 9 is equal to 0. Therefore x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 9. x is not equal to 9 because it should be less than 9. So let us take x is equal to 3. When x is equal to 3, ds dv, dv by dx is equal to 0 and d square v by dx square. If you substitute here, definitely you will get 24 into 3 minus 144. That is 24 into 3 minus 144. This is nothing but 24 into 3. That is nothing but 72 minus 144. Again, this is equal to minus 72 negative. Therefore, the function is minimum. Therefore, the function is minimum. That means one value of x is equal to 3. So, if x is equal to 3 is one value, x is equal to 3. Hence, each side to be cut from the box is 3 centimeters. So, we can take 3 centimeters, 3 centimeters to be cut off from each side to, to make a, to prepare a box of a tin so that the volume of the box will be as large as possible. That is, that means here we are going to take 3 centimeters from each side. This is very important problem. Now, let us come to the next problem. This is also a very important problem for 5 marks. This is a 5 marker question. The perimeter of a rectangle is 100 meters. Find the length of the sides. You should have to find the length of the sides so that the area is maximum. Now, let us consider a rectangle figure. You have to draw the figure. A, B, C, D is a rectangle of uh, sides. Let X and Y be the sides. Now, let x and y be the dimension, length and breadth. Let x and y be the dimension of a rectangle. Be the dimensions of the rectangle. Let x is the length and y is the breadth. Now, what is the condition given? Find the length and length of the sides when the area is maximum. The perimeter is given. Perimeter is equal to 100 meters. What is the perimeter sum of all the sides? 2x plus 2y is equal to 100 or you can divide by 2. You will get x plus y is equal to 100 divided by 2. This is equal to 50. x plus y is equal to 50. Let us represent this as equation number 1. This is the given condition. If x plus y is equal to 50, then what is y? y is equal to 50 minus x. Okay. Now, let us, uh, let me explain once again. Let x and y be the dimension of the rectangle, length and breadth, given that the perimeter is equal to 100, that is x plus x plus y plus y, 2x plus 2y is equal to 100, or divide by 2x plus y is equal to 50, then y is equal to 50 minus x. Now, area, come to the area. So, what is maximum area? What is the area? Area is equal to length into breadth. So, that is area is equal to once x is one side, other side will be y is 50 minus x. If x is x, l is equal to x and b is equal to 50 minus x, then you are going to get the equation a is equal to 50x minus x square. Now, let us come to the next page. Now, that is a is equal to 50x minus x square. Differentiate this with respect to x. Differentiating with respect to x, dA by dx is equal to 50 minus 2x. Differentiate again with respect to x, what you will get? d square a by dx square is equal to minus 2 into 1 is minus 2. Negative means the function is maximum. That is what given to get the maximum. Now, for the function to be maximum or minima, equate dA by dx is equal to 0. If dA by dx is equal to 0, 50 minus 2x is equal to 0, 2x is equal to 50, x is equal to 50 by 2 is equal to 25. Therefore, each side, one side is equal to 25. Then what about the other side? The other side y is equal to 50 minus x, 50 minus 25, that is also equal to 25. So therefore, the two sides x is equal to y is equal to 25. Okay, that is x is equal to y is equal to 25. That means if all the sides are equal means then it is a square. So 
the rectangle is a square if the rectangle is a square then you will get a maximum area then the area will be the maximum that's it now so x is equal to 25 and y is equal to 25 that means the rectangle is a square now let us come to the next problem now this is also a very important problem so diagram is not given you should have to write the diagram show that the maximum rectangle that can be inscribed in a circle of radius a is a square of side a root 2 this is very very important these are very important even for CET examination. Show that the maximum rectangle that can be inscribed in a circle of radius A is a square of each side A root 2. Now let us consider a circle. This is a circle and the rectangle is inscribed. This is the center of the rectangle circle. Now let us consider a circle 2x, 2x and 2y, 2x and 2y be the dimension of the rectangle let us consider let 2x and 2y be the dimension dimension of rectangle dimension of the rectangle 2x and 2y be the dimension of the rectangle now what is the area area is equal to area of the rectangle that is length into breadth that is 2x into 2y that is equal to 4xy area is equal to 4 times x y let us represent this as equation number 1 so let 2x and 2y be the length and breadth of the rectangle therefore the area is equal to 2x into 2y that is equal to 4 x y equation number 1 now now suppose if you apply the Pythagoras theorem for this let us call it as a b and c if you apply the Pythagoras for this triangle then a c square that is uh, let us call it as a uh, this is of a a then this is also 2a radius 2a square 2a square is equal to 2x square plus 2y square okay this is 4a square is equal to 4x square plus 4y square or divide by 4 you will get x square plus y square is equal to a square now what is y square y square is equal to a square minus x square or y is equal to root of a square minus x square this is the equation you have to get now suppose if a is a radius then by Pythagoras theorem a b square plus b c square is equal to a c square x square plus y square is equal to a square we are going to get y square is equal to a square minus x square or y is equal to root of a square minus x square substitute this value in equation number one so therefore equation one becomes a is equal to 4x into what is y a square minus x square let us represent this as equation two for a to be maximum let us call this as for a to be maximum let a square is equal to z let us consider z is equal to a square then the square and square root gets cancelled z is equal to a square a square means 4x square 4x square is 16x square into here square and square root gets cancelled you will get a square minus x square now let us call z z is equal to a square z is equal to if z is equal to a square then 16x square into a square minus x square simplify this this is 16 times x square a square minus 16 times x to the power of 4 now differentiate this differentiating with respect to x what we will get dz by dx is equal to here 16 a square constant derivative of x square is 2x minus 16 into derivative of x raised to 4 is 4x cube so you can remove 16 common factor out what we will get this is 2 a square into x minus 4x cube again differentiate this differentiating with respect to x again we will get d square z by dx square is equal to 16 constant 2 a square is also constant derivative of x is 1 minus x cube is 3 x square 4 3 is a 12 x square so if you want you can multiply so that is nothing but or you can remove two common factors 16 into 2 out what is remaining is a square minus 6 x square so this is equal to 16 into 2 is 32 times a square minus 6 x square now for the function to be maxima or minima dz by dx is equal to 0 if dz by dx is equal to 0 
what you are going to get that is 16 into 2a square x minus 4x cube is equal to 0. That is 2a square x minus 4x cube is equal to 0 or 2a square x is equal to 4x cube. Then, then what you will get 2 and 2 gets cancelled. 1 x and x also gets cancelled. a square is equal to 2 x square or what is required to find is x square. x square is equal to a square by 2. Therefore, x is equal to a by root 2. x is equal to a by root 2. So, for the function to be maxima or minima, dz by dx is equal to 0. Therefore, if you equate this to 0, 16 into 2 a square minus x, then you are going to get 2a square x minus 4x cube is equal to 0. Just transfer this to right hand side, cancel the terms, therefore x square is equal to a square by 2 means x is equal to a by 2. So when x is equal to a by 2, at x is equal to a by 2, I will write here, at x is equal to a by root 2, what happens dz by dx is equal to 0, this becomes d square z divided by dx square is equal to 32 into what is a square? a square is equal to what is a square? a square is as it is, do not change, minus 6 into x square is equal to a square minus 6 a square by 2. So, this is 32 into a square minus 6 by 2 is 3 a square. What is this equal to? 32 into minus 2 a square minus 64 a square. This is negative less than 0, therefore the function is maximum. Therefore, the function is maximum at x is equal to a by root 2. So, one value is a by root 2, find out the other value, that is it. Now, substitute here, I will substitute here. So, if x is equal to a by root 2, then y is equal to what we have? a square minus x square. This is root of a square minus x square is a square by square and square root gets cancelled. Again take LCM, 2 is the LCM, 2a square minus a square is nothing but root of a square by 2 is again a by root 2, this is y. So, x is equal to y is equal to a by root 2. If x is equal to y is equal to a by root 2 means then definitely the rectangle is a square. Therefore, here what is x and what is y? 2x is equal to, what is 2 times x, x, what we got x, x is equal to, what is x here, x is equal to, x is equal to a by root 2. So, x is equal to a by root 2. That means this can be written as, this can be written as root 2 into root 2 into a by root 2. This gets cancelled, this is nothing but root 2 into a. So, therefore, x is equal to y is equal to root 2 times a, each, both the sides are equal, x is equal to y is equal to root 2 times a, that is 2x, 2y, 2x is equal to 2y is equal to root 2 times a, therefore, the rectangle becomes a square of side a into root 2, the rectangle becomes a square of a into root 2, that is, hence, the mag maximum rectangle that can be inscribed in a circle of radius a by root 2 is a square, then it is a square. So, if it is a square, if x is equal to a by root 2, if x is equal to a by root 2 and y is equal to a by root 2, that is x is equal to y, then what uh, in, on simplifying we are going to get a root 2 as 2x and 2y, then this is nothing but a square. So, therefore, the maximum rectangle that can be inscribed in a circle of, re, of radius a is always upside a root 2. That is the required answer. Hope you followed this. This is very important problem. Okay, let us come to the next problem. Find the maximum value of the function x to the power of 1 over x where x is greater than 0. Now, let us consider this as let y is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, this is a logarithmic function, take log on both sides, taking log to base c on both sides. This is very, very important even for a CET examination. In the CET examination, 
the function x to the power of 1 over x is maximum at you have to find the at then the maximum value here let us take log on both sides taking log log y to base is equal to 1 over x log x now differentiate this differentiating with respect to x what you will get 1 over y dy by dx is equal to product rule first function into differentiation of log x is 1 over x plus log x into differentiation of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square now you can write dy by dx is equal to y into 1 by x into 1 over x is 1 by x square minus this is 1 over x square log x to bc now substitute the value of y what is y y is nothing but x to the power of 1 over x x to the power of 1 over x into 1 over x square minus log x to base into 1 by x square this is dy by dx okay now if you want you can remove the common factor dy by dx is equal to x to the power of 1 over x into 1 by x square out then this becomes 1 minus log x to base now if you differentiate applying product rule this d square y by dx square reduces to negative it will become negative negative means it is less than 0 therefore the function is function is maximum therefore the function is maximum so for the function to be maxima or minima dy by dx is equal to 0 dy by dx is equal to 0 that is what is that x to the power of yes x to the power of 1 over x into 1 over x square x to the power of 1 over x into 1 by x square into 1 minus log x to base c whole square is equal to 0. This is equal to 0 or 1 minus log x to base c whole square is 1 minus log x to base c is equal to 0 or log x to base c is equal to 1 since you know 1 can be written as log e to base c therefore x is equal to e. This is the critical point. At x is equal to e, the function is maximum or minimum. Now, when x is equal to e, when x is equal to e, dy by dx is equal to 0 and d square y by dx square, definitely this is negative. Therefore, the function is, therefore, the function is maximum at x is equal to e. So, if you substitute x is equal to e and simplify, this will reduce us to negative value. So, therefore, the function is maximum at x is equal to e and the maximum value is got by putting x is equal to e in 1. Put x is equal to e in equation number 1. You will get y maximum is equal to, what is the equation number 1? The given equation x to the power of 1 by x. That is x is nothing but e to the power of 1 by e. This is the required answer. So, that means the function is maximum at x is equal to e and the maximum value is e to the power of 1 by e. So, now let us come to the next problem. What is the next loss problem? Find the maximum value. This is also very important. Find the critical value and the maximum value. So, for CET examination it is very important. Find the maximum value of the function log x by x. Now, same let us consider let y is equal to log x divided by x differentiate this this is dy by dx is equal to u by v method first function denominator into differentiation of log x is 1 over x minus log x into differentiation of x is 1 divided by x square this two gets cancelled dy by dx is equal to 1 minus log x to base c divided by x square differentiate again d square y by dx square is equal to Again, u by v method denominator x square into differentiation of log x is 1 over x minus 1 minus log x into differentiation of x square is 2x divided by denominator square x to the power of 4. That is d square y by dx square is equal to minus x minus 2x into 1 minus log x divided by x to the power of 4. Now, for the function to be maxima or minima, dA by dx is equal to 0. What is dA by dx? That is this 1 minus log x divided by x square is equal to 0. Now, I will go to the next page. Now, listen to me first. y is equal to log x by x differentiating with respect to x u by v method. Quotient rule. 
u by v denominator differentiation of log x is 1 over x minus log x into differentiation of x is 1 divided by denominator square xx gets cancelled 1 minus log x by x square again differentiate it again u by v method denominator into differentiation of 1 is 0 log x is minus 1 by x minus 1 minus log x into derivative of x square is 2x divided by denominator square x square whole square is x to the power of 4 on x and x gets cancelled minus x minus 2x into 1 minus log x by x to the power of 4. So then for the function to be maxima or minima dA by dx is equal to 0 that is 1 minus log x by x square is equal to 0. I will go to the next page that is 1 minus log x divided by x square is equal to 0. If you cross multiply 1 minus log x is equal to 0, 1 is equal to log x to base e. This one can be written as log e to base e. Since logarithm of uh, e to base e is equal to 1, log and log gets cancelled, therefore x is equal to e. x is equal to e is a critical point. At x is equal to e, d, yes, at x is equal to e, dy by dx is equal to 0, d square y by dx square is equal to c if you put x is equal to e minus e minus 2 e into 1 minus log e to base e is equal to 1 so what you will get this is minus e minus 2 e into 1 minus log e to base e is equal to 1 divided by this is e to the power of 4 so this reduces to 0 minus e by e to the power of 4 is minus 1 over e cube this is negative less than 0. Therefore, the function is maximum at x is equal to e. Now, put x is equal to e in equation number 1. What you will get? y maximum is equal to, what is the equation given? Log x divided by x. This is logarithm of e to base e divided by e is equal to 1 by e. So, very, very important problem. Therefore, the function is maximum at x is equal to e and the maximum value is 1 by e. This is very important for your CET examination also. The function y is equal to log x by x is maximum at x is equal to e and the maximum value is 1 by e. This is how we are going to solve this. That is regarding this problem is concerned. Hope you followed. These are very, very important problems. So, based on the definition given in the problem and the condition given on the problem, you can solve. Okay. That is all for the day. Let us meet uh, with a different concept in the next class. Thank you very much. Thank you.